first coming in, winning on the blue last year, you guys kind of owe them one. Uh, I mean, did that come up at all or any thoughts, you know, kind of trying to pay them back for coming in here and winning last year? Um, yes, well, we have a plan, you know, we're going to go out there and execute it, but that's on the back of everybody's minds, you know, last season, how we um, finished on the blue and everything. So we get another chance to play them. It's always a great time. Well, what do you make of, uh, you've been there a couple times now playing mm-hmm. at Air Force. And, you know, the one was COVID year, so there wasn't a lot of fans and stuff. But kind of a cool atmosphere there with the cadets and everything. What's your thoughts on going over there? Um, always a great game, you know, um, always tight. We're always going to battle, you know, to the last, second, last possession. So going to get some is a great game and honestly can't wait to get back down there. John, going back to the second half of the season, so you came off the sideline, you were smiling, the offensive lineman was smiling. Mm-hmm. Um, how nice is it to kind of, kind of taste that joy after you know, just the grind you guys have been through? Oh, uh, you know, it's fun. Always running the ball for 300 yards is going to be a blast. So um, just getting everything to click, you know, and finally figuring out who we are and what we're meant to be. Um, great feeling there. Uh, who are you? What was it meant to be? I guess. Uh, just trying to dominate every single play, every single rep, every single game. What, what is it that, you know, Dirk was saying yesterday when he was in the chat room, you know, what, what has led to that? Like, how, how have you guys been able to do that? Um, obviously in the games, but in practices, in the walkthroughs and meetings we have with each other, just every little thing all builds up and comes together and just gets you, the more prepared you are, the better you feel, the more confidence you can be. Um, not too much, really. Just everything's clicked a little bit, and I guess we have a little more urgency, you know, throughout the whole practice, little things like that. When you, I think it was the St. Diego State game, you guys ran the ball 16 times. What, what do you know as an offensive lineman on play 16 that you didn't know on play one about the defense and just um, you know, how to dominate? Well, obviously, everybody comes into a game with a little different plan, has little sneaky things they bring into it, so... After that many plays, even a couple, you start to get those tendencies, those little feels, those little motions you see, and little things like that. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So when you just keep running the ball, you start to pick up on those things quicker? Yes, you build that kind of rhythm. Yeah. And the more you can you know, keep that rhythm going, the more and more tendencies you can figure out. Yeah. The whole linemen like, love to run block. And, you know, like, but what has it been like these last couple of games? Like you said, 300 yards, two games in a row. I mean, is that like an old lineman's dream? Uh, well, yes. Uh, Taking somebody and moving them from point A to point B, that's the dream. So um, just competing with each other, that's the biggest thing. Like, how many pancakes you get that drive? Oh, I got this many. Okay, I got to get this more. Little things like that. What are, uh, you know, the combo of Jalen and Ashton and George doing that you guys look for? Um, just trusting us, that's the biggest thing. Um, we're trying to do the best we can so that we can, you know, open those holes up for them and get them as many yards as they can. So just them trusting us is the biggest thing. Now, was the play call execution, I don't know what it was. Why? <laughs> just everybody doing their job. Um, on the old line, especially, if one person messes up, you know, that's a tackle for loss, sack, something like that. Everybody else could be doing great on their jobs, but if one person messes up, it throws up the whole play. So just everybody staying on the same page, doing their 1 11. Um, just consistency. Just keep on charging that and keep on trusting the process. I know you like have confidence in all the guys, but I mean, you've yet to have the projected preseason depth chart, like starting five, get up front for a game this year. I mean, what's it been like with Ben being out and Kate Connie's been in and out a little bit, uh, just trying to find that. It seems like the last two games you guys have found something there, but just you know, what's it been like still trying to not be fully healthy? Uh, well, like we talked about before, um, you always got to be ready to play next to somebody else. So just getting the confidence with them in the meeting rooms and the practice, everything, and just getting those reps, those reps are going to help you out. So getting games under your belt with different guys or – maybe with a different whole unit, really helps out the, you know, flow of the game. Who's the loudest guy on the Boise State football team? The loudest? <laughs> Probably Jail or Tyreek after they get a pick or something like that. Yeah. What do you see from the Air Force defense? Um, discipline group, that's the biggest thing. Um, they're going to attack every single play. It doesn't matter if they're up, down. It doesn't matter first quarter, last fourth quarter. So every single drive, they're going to attack it and give it their best. Um, right now, or yeah, there's, a, there's a tweet. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. It's the the next major, I guess. Okay, why, why yeah. Do you, I don't know. Like, what, what, is there any intrigue about? Like, oh, oh yeah, just looking through um different classes, you know, getting a different feel for things. Like, 
Um, always been down the kinesiology route, so I wanted to branch out a little bit, see a little extra stuff. Uh, maybe I hope, okay. <laughs> but yeah, just learn as much as I can while I'm here. All right. mm -hmm. you know they do it at Wyoming too, but what do you make of the, the sign by the locker room that says like you died with the lack of uh, oxygen? Well, we played there three times. We haven't died yet, so <laughs> ready to go. Um, just where a normal running back might get a three yard, four yard gain, they're turning into a 10, 15 yard gain, something like that. So they're able to make those next level moves and next level um, breakouts and just get even more more yards. So that, you know, builds confidence in us and we got to get down the field and help them out on those little things. And hopefully one will pop, you know, for the 70 yard or 60 yard or something like that. Um, yes, yeah, just um, in practice, look, going through every single look is going to help you because you get to the game and it's almost automatic when you're stepping that way and you feel them going in or out or playing into you. You kind of have that reaction to it rather than having to think through on the run and having to adjust on the sideline. I know every game's big, want to know each week, the whole thing. But I mean, as, you, as the season progresses here and you look up and you're the only undefeated team left in the Mountain West and all your goals are kind of right there, I mean, how big is a game like this on Saturday? Um, you get to your goals? It's everything. You know, every single week, it's, that's the most important game of the year. Every single week, because it's the next one. It's the next one we got to play. Next people we have to face. So every single week, we're talking on the same mindset. Like Mountain West Championship, that's our goal. And every single week, we got to take another step towards that goal. During the bye, um, over practice, we just got after it. A lot of blue on blue, and try to get as good as we could. Did you do anything during the bye to get away for a second, or? Um, just try to get my body right. You know, sleep and all that, eating right. No. No. <laughs> <laughs>